evening and welcome to this edition of News Later on 6. Today is Tuesday, September 26, 2017. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Andrew Todd. In tonight's news, we'll bring you video from last Friday night's THS Homecoming festivities. We'll also speak with Coach John Olive about his team's big win over Lincoln County. And the 41A Music Festival is coming up this weekend. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. Russell's got your truck, man. Russell's got your truck. Chevy Ford and Ram, man. Russell's got your truck. With the best selection anywhere. Russell's got your truck. Keith Barnett here at the Russell Barnett Automotive Family, and man, do we ever have your truck. Four brands, hundreds to choose from, all at year-end discounted prices. So with so much to choose from, my question is, why buy your next truck anywhere else? Russell's got your truck, man. All I have to do to think about what I was physically before and what I am now, and I don't ever want to go back to that original situation. The overall mission of the rehab team is always what is best for the patient and how we can facilitate maximum potential from every resident. Well, the most important thing to me is that I'm allowed to do whatever I need, want to do, you know. Everyday Miracles at Life Care Center of Tullahoma. Welcome back. It was a big night at Wilkins Stadium last Friday night as the Tullahoma Wildcats took on the Lincoln County Falcons. Adding to the excitement of the game with a traditional rival was all the pageantry associated with homecoming. News leader's Bob Payne brings us this halftime video of the Queen and her court. Also studies and enjoys dance and gymnastics. Olivia is escorted by Tyler Parker. Tyler's the son of Kenneth and Nicole Parker. He's a member of the THS football, basketball, and baseball teams, as well as a member of the Fellowship Christian Athletes. Olivia. Raven is the daughter of Barry and Chris Gilford. Raven is a member of the Varsity Cheerleading Squad and the THS Student Council. He's also involved in gymnastics. Hunter is the son of Matt and Tabitha Palmer. He's a member of the Tullamore High School football team, the base club, bass club, Ocean Valley Athletes. He's an avid outdoorsman who enjoys hunting and fishing. He also enjoys public speaking. Raven will be sashed by sophomore class president Spencer York. She's being escorted by Usher Ray. Sarah Catherine Smithson is the daughter of Amy and Eric Smithson. She's a member of the Tullamore High School Band and the THS Student Council. She's also a DECA state qualifier and an honor student. Asher Red is the son of Jason and Felicia Red. He's a lifeguard at D.W. Wilson Community Center, as well as a member of the Tullamore High School and Manchester Nikos swim teams. He's also field commander for the Tullamore High School Band. <laughs> Sashing Miss Smithson will be junior class president Mark Blackburn. Is Miss Adlin Cannon. Adlin is the daughter of Shelly Stevens. Adlin is escorted by Demetrius Burroughs. Demetrius is the son of Charles and Athea Kilchrist. He's a member of the junior ROTC here at Tullamore High School. <laughs> Miss Cannon is being presented with a bracelet. Ms. Cannon will be presented with a bracelet by Dr. Shannon Duncan. Zach and Caitlin Bailey. 
Axel loves soccer, as well as reading books and playing with construction trucks. When he grows up, he wants to drive a fire truck. This ball will be crowned by student body president Ella, who's a member of the Health Occupation Students of America and the future business leaders of America here at THS. After graduation, she plans to attend the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga to pursue a nursing degree with a specialty in neonatal nursing. Macy is being escorted by Matthew Meadows. Matthew is the son of Donnie and Deanna Meadows. He's a member of the varsity football and baseball teams and also enjoys playing golf. Our second senior homecoming attendant is Miss Jody and Dawn George. She's a varsity cheerleader and a dance captain. She's also a member of the Deccan Club and was named Distinguished Young Woman of the Cumberland Valley this year. Her post-high school plans include attending Belmont University, where she intends to major in business and minor in dance. Jody is being escorted by Matthew Haston. Matthew is the son of Keith and Kathy Hastings. He's a member of the THS bowling and archery teams and a member of the Skills USA, as well as a member of the Highland Baptist Church. After graduation, Matthew plans to go to Princeton Tech and major in engineering. Miss George will be sashed by Miss Topaz Fragosa. Vice President of the Student Body and will be presented with flowers by Student Council Member Sam Usselton. Our third and final homecoming attendant is Miss Alexis Holt. Alexis is the daughter of Warner and Nancy Holt. She is Vice President of Honor Society, a member of the National English Honor Society, and Mu Alpha Theta, the Math Honor Society. She is also Secretary of the Health Occupation Students of America. After graduation, Alexis plans to attend Belmont University to major in pre-med and minor in biology. Alexis is being escorted by Landon Wright. Landon is the son of Matt and Mary Wright. He's a member of the THS Fellowship of Christian Athletes and enjoys exercising, fishing, and hiking. After graduation, he plans to attend the Tennessee College of Applied Technology. Ms. Hart will be sashed by Senior Class President Bradley Holmes and presented with flowers by Rachel Dent, Senior Student Council Representative. Ms. George is being crowned by Principal Mrs. Kathy Rose, assisted by Student Body President Ella Fanning. with a very distinct honor is Matthew Hastings. He will be bestowed the traditional homecoming kiss on the queen. We'll be right back with more News Leader on 6. Russell Barnett Hometown Auto Rental has proudly served your auto rental for over 30 years. Check out this huge selection to choose from. Small car, mid-size car, full-size car, crossover vehicle, SUV, minivan, pickup trucks, 12 and 15 passenger vans. Whether big or small, Russell Barnett Hometown Auto Rental has them all. Stop by our two locations to serve you, Tullahoma and in Winchester. And remember, my question is, why rent anywhere else? When your family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. Welcome back. Tullahoma High School cheerleader Jessica McChesney interviewed the new queen in her court following the halftime ceremonies. My name is Jessica McChesney. I am on the varsity. 
varsity cheerleading team. And tonight I'll be introducing our beautiful homecoming court and I'm so excited about it. We have the freshman homecoming attendant with me. Her name is Olivia Fincham. Olivia, what do you think your favorite part of tonight was? Um, probably dancing in the pep rally and supporting my freshman class and representing them too. That's awesome. Well, what's a memory that you think you will, you will take with you for forever from this night? Probably walking down the tee with my escort and probably just knowing that all my friends are, and family are here supporting me. Well, thank you, Olivia. You look beautiful and we're so excited for you. Beside me, I have Raven Guilford, who is our sophomore, sophomore attendant. She is looking beautiful tonight. You. Raven, what is your favorite experience from tonight? My favorite experience from tonight was running with my whole THS Varsity Cheer Squad through the tee. So that was your favorite part, running through the tee? How was it running without heels on through the tee in a dress? It felt amazing. I mean, we had to hold our dresses up to make sure we didn't fall, but it was my favorite part. Well, I'm glad you had fun tonight and you look beautiful again. <laughs> Beside me is our junior attendant, Sarah Smithson. You look beautiful tonight as always. What do you think is your favorite experience of tonight? Probably getting to march through uh, the tunnel with the concession stands. That was life changing and it was, it was a wonderful experience really. And will you be marching with the Telehoma band tonight? I will and that's probably something I'm going to take with me forever and I'm so excited to be able to have that opportunity. Will you be wearing your dress is the real question. I will. I will be wearing my dress and marching. I will. So this will be a fun experience. Thank you Sarah. You look beautiful. Thank you. And this is Macy Feltz. She is one of our senior attendants for tonight. Macy, what is your favorite memory from this whole homecoming experience? Honestly, just getting to represent my class and just getting to spend it with all my friends and being just cheered on, it's amazing. What's your favorite memory that you think you'll take from tonight and hold with you for forever? Honestly, I think the biggest memory that I'll take from this is just getting to spend it with my classmates and uh, honestly feeling so honored to do this. That's just the biggest blessing in the world. Well, we know you are so loved. Thank you, Macy. Thank you. Beside me is Alexis Holt, who is another one of our beautiful senior attendants this year. She... What, what, what has been your favorite experience, Alexis? My favorite experience was creating a closer bond with everyone. I, I don't know many younger um, peers, so that was really fun for me. Well, how has this week affected you, and what will you carry from this week from now on? Um, I've honestly gotten more comfortable being in front of people, uh, which is something I've struggled with, so that, that was really great. <laughs> well, thank you, Alexis. You look beautiful. This I have beside me Jody George, who is the queen of our homecoming this year. Year. Jody, what has been your favorite experience of this? Probably just getting to know all the girls and performing at the pep rally this Friday. It was awesome. And what's your favorite memory that you think you'll take from this week and hold forever? Um, probably walking across the field tonight and just being sashed and flowered by the student council. How did it feel to run through the tee with all the cheerleaders? It was really crazy, but it was fun. <laughs> Thank you, Jody. Thank you. The Tullahoma Wildcats wasted no time generating some excitement in the homecoming game as they successfully executed an onside kick in the game's opening kickoff on their way to a 42-16 win. John Gray spoke with Coach John Olive about that play. Great homecoming victory last night uh, against uh, Lincoln County and uh, Coach Olive is here of course with us this morning to help us go through the ball game and Coach it was a different football team last night than we saw last week. Didn't play real well last week. Competition was pretty good last week, but we didn't play very good. It was one of those games that, you know, you just, things just weren't going right and then it was snowballed. Like this. It was like trying to clap hands and neither hand could ever hit the other And one. then we're coming into <laughs> our own homecoming situation and uh, with a relatively young team. Right. And so I was really worried going into the ball game you know, would our young men focus on last their job night. last night? Yeah. Would they focus on their job at hand? And they did. They, they did. They, they played did. well last night. And I was proud of our young men. I was proud of the coaches for the effort they put in. And um, and so anyway, good win for Tullahoma. Yes, 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 yes. And, and, you know, you'll see as we go through the game today, folks, and watch the film, that it got to the point that we had a lot of younger players got to get on the field last night. Uh, and, and how good for them. That's correct. We, we got a lot of backups in last night, right. which we had not been able to do in the previous games. The previous games, 
uh, with the exception of Spring Hill, had been nail biters. They could go either right, way. Right. Two of them went our way, two of them went against us, but they'd been nail biters. Uh, last night was the first time that we were able to uh, know that in the fourth quarter we could play some other players. I asked Coach Olive when, when he came in this morning, my question is, who saw it first? And he knew exactly what I was talking about. But when you watch when you watch this uh, the first quarter and the first kickoff of the game, you will see something that I've never seen before, and that is the opposing team not even look at the kicker, but turn around and run backwards. And somebody had picked that up on game film. Dustin Hazlett and uh, the two younger Olive coaches, all three, had come see. to me and said, "Hey, they're doing this." And uh, and so we just needed to make a decision whether we were going to take that gamble and, and do the onside or not. And when you watch it, you'll see that <clears throat> there, there was nobody even in the zone. It could have rolled another five yards before they got up. It's just amazing, but what is so cool about it is our young coaches are intuitive enough to pick that up watching game film. And so how lucky are we? We ended up winning the toss, and so it works out good for us because we were going to defer, which means they're going to take the football, which means we're going to onside kick. And we're going to kick an onside kick to the left right here, and Kobe Burks is going to play short stop and get the ball. And those people turn around backwards and run backwards. There's nobody even anywhere close to that. And these young coaches are the ones that saw that on game film. We'll be right back after these messages. It's not invoice. It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day, although it may feel like it. It's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. Get to Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac before these prices are gone forever. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Welcome back. The 41A Music and Arts Festival is coming up this weekend. Some of the organizers of the festival stopped by our studios to fill us in on the specifics of this year's event. We're with the 41A Festival team here, and uh, guys, just tell us what's going on. It's coming, isn't it? Yeah, eighth annual. Eighth annual. Yeah. Has it been that long? Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to Feels believe. Feels like it. <laughs> it does. You, Feels you've like been it. there since day one, exactly. haven't you? I have been. It's been a lot of fun. But uh, just just uh, tell us about, uh, have there been changes made on how, it's, how the operation's going to go? I know downtown, we were just discussing, the, we had a remodel downtown, and they provided some power and some stuff that, that, that is available to you, which I think has made it a little bit easier than what you've had to do yeah. in the past to find the proper amount of power and everything. Yeah, the city has been really helpful in uh, getting us set up and, and making things easy as possible. Um, it's, it's a pretty big undertaking. Um, but as far as the festival goes this year, yeah, we actually do have some interesting changes. So this year we didn't do the Grape and Grain Festival in the spring. We actually moved it into the 41A Festival. And so on Saturday afternoon, we're going to have a craft beer tasting, uh, unlimited tasting for $25 um, earlier in the day from 3 to 6 p.m. before we really start getting things turned up in the evening. Um, and so that's going to be fun. Uh, and then, of course, we've got the poker run Saturday mornings that people can come out and, and uh, if they like to ride, they're uh, set up to ride up through Shelbyville, through Murfreesboro, actually, this year, back down through Manchester. And, um, and so that's going to be a, a great part as well, the kids zone like we've got every year. Yeah. Um, and then we've got some really good bands this year. We feel like the community has um, 
a want for that event. Right. Um, but because we've built up a little bit of a following through the 41A, uh, the thought is, yeah, we, we can kind of grow some recognition for this craft beer side of things, the festival side of things. Um, and, uh, you know, if the response is good, you know, hopefully we can move it back and have it be another separate event. Um, but for the time being, you know, we think it's a great opportunity to stick it in there on Saturday early in the afternoon so people can come out. We're going to have TVs out there so the Tennessee-Georgia game, they can come out, <laughs> enjoy the craft beer, and watch the Tennessee-Georgia game. Watch the game. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Who are, who, are, who are some of the bands? I know I know Pop Rocks is going to be there, and I love Valerie. I mean, she was she yeah. was she went to school here and was a great singer and still is. Mm -hmm. We've got a, a pretty good lineup this year. Uh, we've actually taken one band out. We're not doing a noon set on Saturday. Uh, instead, we're starting music at 1, so it's going to end a little bit earlier than it has been in the years past. But uh, Friday night, we're starting with the Springs. That's a, a very new country duo that's uh, making some waves right now. They're still Good. independent. They've uh, met with several record labels, haven't found quite the deal they're looking for, haven't found quite the management they're looking for. But uh, it's Holly and Stewart. They're a married couple. Holly was on The Voice, uh, progressed pretty far on that show. And Stewart has uh, been playing for years at the... Um, um, What's that place up in Nashville called? Uh, Bluebird. Right? Right. Bluebird. That's it. Bluebird. Uh, he's been playing there for years. They actually met there and uh, they started recording together and doing some songwriting together. And uh, they found out there was more to it than just the professional relationship. They got married and uh, started a band together. And Good. like you mentioned, Pop Rocks is coming back on Friday night. Uh, we've had them. This will be their fifth year out yeah. of our eight years. And uh, we always have people asking for them. You know, we typically try not to repeat a band more than twice, but this one people just keep asking for. Well, oh, yeah, that's a local girl, and, and, and Valerie's a incredible entertainer. Yeah, I she mean, is. She's, she is. she's bigger than life. She wants to make it, people get up and dance. Yeah, and yeah. If she can do that, then people are happy. And that's right. That's what we like to that's see. That's right. That's good, what it's all crowd. about. Uh, and then closing Friday night, we've got the boy band night. Uh, this is a group of guys who play everything from Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, 98 Degrees, uh, all that 80s and 90s boy band music. Right. They'll even play some One Direction that's fairly recent. and uh, Sing and dance, play instruments, and uh, it's just a big crowd-pleasing show. That's uh, looking wonderful. Forward to having them. And Saturday we're starting with uh, some local bands. We've got Jack Wagon, a uh, very popular band out of right. uh, Franklin County. Then we've got uh, Salem Creek coming up. They used to be Southern Pride. They last played our festival two years ago with Southern Pride Band. Changed their name, but they do everything from uh, Skinner to some disco music. Every, right. Just everything in between. Okay. Uh, they're a good crowd pleaser. We've had several people asking about right. them. Then we've got uh, Chase Clanton and Vintage Vibes. Uh, Chase is a uh, young guitarist, uh, very bluesy, but he's got a good set of musicians around him, including Stevie Counts, who plays with uh, Stagger Moon Band. Uh, then Saturday night, we've got the Sound Dogs, local band that's played uh, once at our festival before, we've uh, had some people asking for them back, so we're bringing them back. And then Sweet Honey, who played uh, last year, I believe, they're going to be the opener. Um, I guess you'd say the final opener Saturday night for right. our headliner, and our headliner is uh, Whiskey Myers. They're a uh, southern rock band based out of Texas. They recently had a um, headlining event at a uh, Riverbend Festival right. in Chattanooga. Right. They've uh, got four albums out. They're played all over Sirius Satellite Radio, and we're looking forward to having them. Yeah, we asked right. them for a 90-minute set, as we do for our headliners, and they said, can we play for two hours? I said, absolutely, <laughs> sure. you can play for Bring two hours. Bring it on. Yeah. So Bring it on. The, the plan was to end everything 30 minutes early, but the fact that they're going to play two hours, it may just be the same time. Yeah. But we'll get more, out of our, more of our headliner than we Very good. Doing. Guys, thanks a lot for being oh, here thank today. You. Thank Eighth you. annual. Fun, folks. It's a lot of fun. Don't you miss this. Go downtown Tullahoma for the 41A Festival. More news later on 6 is coming up in a moment. I have 30 seconds to tell you about RussellBarnett.com. We're going to find over 1,000 new and pre-owned vehicles at RussellBarnett.com. We're going to get your trade appraised at RussellBarnett.com. We're going to get financing done at RussellBarnett.com. We're going to get collision repair assistance at RussellBarnett.com. We're going to get auto rental assistance at RussellBarnett.com. We are the one-stop shop, one click away. Why click anywhere else? Here at Manchester Funeral Home, we know the importance of living and working in our local community because it's those families who we serve during their time of need honorably. We believe in supporting local business and offer only 100% Batesville caskets, the best in the industry and a driver of our local economy. If you want straightforward and fair pricing while working with the people you know, choose Manchester Funeral Home, serving your community since 1932. 
And pre-planning and pre-funding can be the best gift you ever leave your loved ones. Call us to pre-arrange. Manchester Funeral Home. Our family, caring for your family since 1932. Welcome back. If you drive a lot in the city of Tullahoma, you've probably experienced the frustration of having to wait what seems like forever for that annoying train to pass. City Administrator Jody Baltz says the city is getting numerous calls about this problem. Baltz relayed this issue to the city board members at a recent meeting. We are beginning to receive complaints from property owners about the length of the CSX trains going through town uh, and their delays of today. We had a train that was over 1.5 miles long that uh, blocked uh, Wiseman Road and Parham Boulevard for, for a fairly lengthy period of time. And so uh, that does fall under the category of interstate commerce, uh, but what we've uh, told the property owners when, they, when the individuals call and complain to, to uh, even though we don't have any jurisdiction over that, to let us know when that occurs and then we'll pass that on to uh, you know, uh, the appropriate federal authorities, whether that be the Surface Transportation Board or our local, you know, uh, federal legislators. But uh, that is one thing that we've uh, started to get, I wonder to let the board know that we are starting to receive some complaints in regard to that. Uh, it's important to us from the standpoint that, for example, uh, this morning when Wiseman Road and Parham Boulevard was blocked, you know, that uh, was affecting a couple businesses. We have some like J JSP that they do a lot of transport there. Uh, we have some other businesses that people were trying to get to them, so they had to go around on the uh, uh, Spring Creek side to get to them. And the reason it's of concern to us from a uh, public safety standpoint is if they're going to block these crossings for an extended period of time, that affects us from a public safety standpoint of, you know, uh, sending a fire engine, you know, going down 41A, thinking that we're going to be able to easily turn left into the industrial area and then possibly having to backtrack and get to it from the other side. So uh, so we're collecting data uh, so that uh, uh, we can relay that to the appropriate folks. So, But I did want to let you know that we are starting to get some complaints on that. And don't forget to tune into this week's Living Show tonight at 6.30 p.m., Thursday morning at 9 a.m., and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evening at 6.30 p.m. This week's guests include Judy Jenkins, who's with One Day of Hope of Coffee County, who will tell us about their upcoming event. We'll hear from Becky Bueller about her show coming to South Jackson Civic Center, and Tullahoma Police Chief Paul Blackwell will tell you how to get permitted for planning events in Tullahoma. All that and more on this week's Living. And stay with us. We'll have your weather forecast right after these messages. It's football time in Tennessee and nobody tackles the competition like the Russell Barnett Automotive family. With six different locations, eight new car franchises, over 1,000 new and pre-owned vehicles to choose from, a certified collision center with lifetime paint guarantee, Russell Barnett Hometown Auto Rental. Let our family exceed your expectations at the Russell Barnett Automotive family. And remember, why buy anywhere else? It's your trademark. That's something special everyone knows and remembers. It's your thing. It's made holidays special for decades. And summer's unforgettable for the entire neighborhood. It's made everyone laugh every single time. Don't let illness or injury keep you from doing your thing. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1933 at 90 degrees. The record low was in 1928 at 35 degrees. The average high on this day is 78 and the average low is 55. Mostly clear weather expected tonight with a low of around 66. Mostly sunny weather in the forecast for Wednesday with a high of 90 and a low of 66. And mostly sunny weather continuing into Thursday with a high of 81 and a low of 57. And that's our newsletter report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for Newsletter on 6. You have a good evening. Have a great evening. <music>